جدید آخوندها و موشکباران و کشدار مجاهدین به انتها رسید بازنمایی مرحله سردگونی رژیم است آنچه رخ داد نه شباهتی به یک انتخابات واقعی داشت نه آزاد بود از این انتخابات تمامیت رژیم بسیار ضعیفتر از قبل بیرون آمد و یک قدم به سرنگونی نزدیک شد خامنه ای رفسنجانی را حسب کرد اما در قدم بعد در تعادل درونی رژیم نتوانست با مهندسی مهره مطلوب خود را بیرون بیاورد از ترس شروع قیام ها به آخوند روحانی تن داد رژیم آخوندی در این انتخابات تهدید اصلی تمامیت رژیمش را به زبان موشک و کشدار برجسته کرد به همین دلیل درست چند ساعت قبل از اعلام نتایج انتخابات خامنه ای برای پوشاندن شکستش با حمله به لیبرتی و کشدار مجاهدان آزادی تلاش کرد به مردمی که مترسد قیام بودند خوشدار بدهد روی کار آمدن آخوند روحانی محصول سلسلی از شکست های تمامیت رژیم است بنابراین این گزینه برای اصلاح و نجات رژیم آخوندی از سرنگونی نیست بلکه گزینه است برای فاز پایانی آخونت ها این حال همچنان که بعد از اعلام نتایج انتخابات گفتم به رئیس جمهور جدید ارتجا میگویی بدون آزادی بیان و حقوق بشر و تا وقتی زندانیان سیاسی و فعالیت اعضا آزاد نشده تا وقتی که سیاست تجاوزکارانه رژیم در سوریه و عراق ادامه دارد و تا وقتی که رژیم برای دستیابی به بمب اتمی پا می فشارد هیچ چیز عوض نمی شود زیرا ولی فقیه می داند که هر گونه تغییر جدی در این سیاست ها به سرنگونی تمامیت رژیمش راه میبرد با این حال میگوییم بفرمایید این صحنه آزمایش شماست حرف ما این است که رأی و انتخاب و نظر مردم ایران حاکمیت پیدا کنید ما آمدیم که فدای انتخاب آزادانه مردم ایران شدیم این انتخابی است که ایران را سرشار از اعتماد و گلستان آزادی و ادالت می کند و چنین خواهد شد Votre mouvement, il est fort et se renforce. Vous le voyez, des délégations du monde entier sont là aujourd'hui à vos côtés. Je les salue tous, car comme nous, ils partagent les valeurs de liberté, de démocratie qui sont les vôtres. En tant que maire du premier arrondissement de Paris, j'ai l'honneur de vous présenter ce recueil de 12 000 signatures de maires et d'élus de France qui soutiennent les résidents d'Ashraf et de Liberté dont nous réclamons la protection et la sécurité par des garanties. J'ai l'honneur, en notre nom collectif, de vous présenter ce recueil pour que vive la démocratie et la liberté en Iran. Nous sommes aujourd'hui à l'Assemblée nationale et c'est dans ce document 
Une majorité de parlementaires, de députés français aujourd'hui a d'une part soutenir la plateforme sur laquelle Mariam Rajavi et le CNRI aujourd'hui combattent, une plateforme démocratique dont nous partageons les valeurs. Nous sommes aussi une majorité à demander que les Iraniens présents en Irak, dans le camp Liberty, soient protégés, puissent retourner à Ashraf et puissent le plus rapidement possible être accueillis. This evening of reading two, three important messages from the United States Senate. I first want to begin with the chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Carl Levin. He writes, the United States should persist in pressing the government of Iraq to live up to its obligations under the December 2011 agreement with the United Nations to ensure the safety and security of Camp Liberty. My Iranian freedom fighters, tomorrow comes when freedom's flame will light the souls of all Iranians and the barricade of oppression will come down because we will not go away into the darkness of the night. We will not disappear without a fight. Our cause is right. Our motives are just. We will meet again soon. I hope with you in a free and safe Iran. Hello and greetings to all of you gathered today in Paris. I'd like to thank Mrs. Rajavi for the opportunity to speak to you today. I join you in solidarity in condemning the latest deadly rocket attack on Camp Liberty that killed two... And I will continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with you as you advance the fight for an Iran that is finally liberated from tyranny, extremism, and repression. And we stand here united as Americans, Republicans, and Democrats fighting for freedom with you, and we are never giving up. To my dear sister, to all of you, Salome, and to my sister, who has two children, to a freedom fighter, to a woman of greatness, and that is President-elect Miriam Rajabi. On behalf of the United States Congress, I want to give you this plate that is sealed in glass. And when Iran is free and you are the president, we will break this glass and break bread in Tehran together. sisters. The challenge of your great leadership is spreading around the world. And so I present to you a gold rim symbol of the United States Congress and our unity. And for your two children, this is a keychain, and you will place on it a key to their freedom, and they will be free. We honor you with this freedom. I said two, two years ago that Camp Liberty was going to be a concentration camp and, uh, and worse, a killing field. I am very, very sad to say that I've turned out to be correct. It's become exactly that, a concentration camp and a place where people are killed without any regard for dignity, human life, or decency. I believe 
that the most honorable thing to do would be to take all those people who are now at Liberty and Ashraf and because of the promises made by the United States of America, by my country, I believe it is our obligation to take all of them and bring them to the United States of America immediately. That would be the right thing to do. That would be the honorable thing to do. That would be the decent thing to do. But since we've abandoned decency and honesty, then I believe the only practical thing to do is to return them immediately to Camp Ashraf, where they can protect themselves since we can't seem to protect them. At least let them go to Camp Ashraf, where they can protect themselves from the rockets and from the killing that is going on in Iraq. Where does our hope reside? Where does our hope for freedom and decency and democracy and freedom lie? With the Ayatollah? With the Mullahs? With the murderer Rouhani? No! It lies with you, with Madame Rajavi, with the MEK, with people who believe in freedom, with people who believe in democracy, with people who believe in a non-nuclear Iran. I promise you, and I promise them, that I will not stop speaking out until the residents of Camp Liberty are free to rejoin the struggle that we're all in, and that is the struggle for a free Iran. That I pledge to you and to them. Alors oui, cher Mariam Rajavi, nous avons besoin, vous avez besoin, le monde a besoin d'un Iran qui soit démocratique, d'un Iran qui respecte la liberté, la liberté d'expression et la liberté de penser, d'un Iran qui n'accepte pas que ceux qui sont dans le camp Liberty puissent être régulièrement bombardés, puissent être régulièrement agressés, puissent être régulièrement tués. So the world, with the regimes in Baghdad and Tehran, now recognize that the people of Ashraf and Liberty are not terrorists, rather they are the victims of brutal repression because of their ideas, their values, and those that you hold and we all hold as well. And that is for a free and democratic Iran to come sooner rather than later. No puede haber primavera hasta que todas las mujeres tengan su parte en la historia. Por ello, por ello, el papel tan importante que las mujeres desempeñan en la oposición iraní es una señal de la fuerza de su movimiento y es muy alentador. Felicidades, señora María Rajavi, por llevar este movimiento. Finally, to the residents of Liberty and Ashraf, continue to hang tough. The large gathering that we have here today from all over the world and the voices that you hear speaking today on your behalf, combined with Madam Rajavi's superb leadership, are indicators that help is on the way. The United Nations, the U.S. government, and the Iraqi government have all agreed that the MEK must be protected. They must see that this is done. Now is the time to support the resistance movement under Mrs. Rajani's leadership. That's what is needed. Your slogan for this meeting is the correct one. Onward to freedom. The only way to move onward to freedom is to have a genuinely open election in which anyone could run, including Mrs. Rajavi. L'Italie a condamné sans demi-mesure les attaques subies par les résidents du camp. Les attaques de juillet 2009, les attaques de, de l'avril 2011, de février 2012, et encore les dernières attaques et nuits qui ont frappé Camp Liberty ces derniers jours, la, la semaine dernière. C'est tout à fait inacceptable. 
the United Nations, the State Department, and we, the American friends of the MEK, we convinced the people of Ashraf to move to liberty. We told them that the UN and the US and the government of Iraq guaranteed their safety at liberty. Let the record show we misled them. We misled them. There's been no attempt to guarantee their safety. In fact, the opposite is true. The government of Iraq has prevented them from taking common sense safety measures, T-walls, protective armor, to protect themselves. And again, death has resulted. Kabler, Kabler, not only he is a liar, not only he is a very corrupt man, but he's also a criminal. And I truly think... Soon, Khamenei's evil regime will be history. But that history will always pay tribute to the brave men and women of Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty, and to Mrs. Mariam Rajavi for her unwavering leadership and courage in the face of adversity. And I wish one day Martin Kubler will be held accountable for his shameful behavior. Iranians are brave people who fight for freedom and democracy and thus deserve international support. I will be always on your side. Thank you very much. Au nom du comité arabo-musulman de défense des habitants d'Ashraf, au nom des milliers de personnes qui soutiennent cette résistance en Europe, dans le monde arabe et aux États-Unis d'Amérique, je crie « Vive la résistance iranienne !» Abat la dictature et à bientôt, Inch'Allah, la même fête à Téhéran. À Sayyida Maryam Rajawi, fil l'an le mardi, j'ai dit à Sayyida Tashark, fi ce jour, أقول لك سيدة الكلمة الشجاعة الحرة التي تستطيع أن تحول القول إلى فعل وباسم البرلمان الأردني جئنا اليوم لنكون معكم متضامنين مع حركة مجاهدي خلق متضامنين مع مجاهدي خلق التي تسعى نحو الحرية ونحو العدالة ونحو الوقوف أمام الاستبداد. We want to send a strong message to Khomeini that the international community will not be duped again. The era of your deception has expired. Ms. Rajavi, dear friends, I'm proud to be here to tell you about Canada's actions in defense of freedom and democracy in Iran. I'm also here to tell you how we are standing up for the democratic rights of the PMOI MEK. Canada's parliamentarians have worked hard to draw international attention to the appalling conditions in Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty. In December of 2012, I had the chance to know Mariam Rajavi and all his team and to make sure that a part of my heart sea y esté a vuestro lado el sol que brille el sol en Irán que se vaya la tormenta del uranio y de los dictadores y brille el sol el sol de la libertad la justicia y los derechos humanos muchas gracias we endorse your call for the secular, democratic, non-nuclear republic in Iran. Solidarité avec le peuple iranien et les résidents de Liberté et Ashraf. 
Now is the time not to bend to the regime, not to fall for their lies once again, but to adopt the policy of changing the regime in Tehran. But I'm going to ask you a question. You are represented by your brave president. Who speaks for free Iran? Who speaks for free Iran? Support the democratic opposition in Iran, the MEK, and provide for the safety and security of the men and women at Liberty and Ashraf. To the brothers and sisters in Camp Ashraf who are under grave threat, grave stress, whose conditions in that camp are akin to some of the most horrific conditions that people were liberated from in World War II, that help is on the way and you should never, 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 never give up. Together, let's act together, and all the best for people in Ashraf and Liberty, and for the Iranian people. For a hundred years, the school children of Iran will learn that the road to Iranian freedom led through Camp Ashraf and Camp Liberty. The Ayatollah and the Mullahs cannot ignore the force of the resurgence of the legitimate opposition. It's not going to go away. It's going to go onward to freedom, and it's going to go forward now. Women in Iran, in Ashraf and, and Liberty, fight for the same rights as other women around the world. Health and education for their children, safety and security for their families and communities. First, you must have a cause. There can be no better cause than freedom and liberty for the people in Iran. You need to have strong and capable leadership. I am convinced that you have that in Madame Rajavi. And I think the reason I'm here today is because you stand for the same things we in America do, and that's freedom and dignity and honor. So I wish the best to you all. Thank you. But having watched personally Mr. Rouhani's approach when he was head of the nuclear negotiations now some 10 years ago, I know that these hopes will be disappointed. While he does have diplomatic polish, his objectives are the same objectives as those of his predecessor, and that is to continue the quest for nuclear weapons. <laughs> وكسب ثقة العالم بكم من جهة ومن جهة أخرى أتيناكم شاكين لكم وللعالم على ما يعاني الشعب السوري من النظام الإيراني المستبد. Imagine equal opportunity in political, economic, and social life. No wonder the Ayatollah fears you. Do we know someone who might offer that kind of real choice to the people of Iran? Yes, we do. Now, think about it. Madam President, just by being here today, you have defied Tehran with your hope for a brighter future for your country that will one day be led by Madam Rajavi. say to the people of Camp Ashraf, help is on the way. I want you to say to the world that you represent freedom for the people of Iran and by telling them help is on the way. Religious dictatorship ruling Iran does not in fact represent the Iranian people and if you want to look at who does represent the Iranian people look to those like Madame Rajavi who in fact represent the aspirations of her people for freedom, for democracy, 
for freedom for women as well as men. And I want to send that message not just to those in this room, but throughout the world. En étant ici aujourd'hui, en soutenant Madame Rajavi, en invitant plus de femmes à se mobiliser partout, les femmes peuvent défendre et porter un nouvel avenir. Je vous recommande de lire le livre de Madame Rajavi et ainsi de main en main, de parole en parole, de soutien en soutien, l'Iran sera perçu comme il est, mais aussi et surtout comme il pourrait l'être demain, autrement, fièrement et en harmonie entre les hommes et les femmes. Je vous remercie. L'incontro qui aujourd'hui nous vede réunis ici à Paris est le lieu où tous dobbiamo gridare con forza che Stati Uniti d'America, Nazioni Unite e Unione Europea devono essere solidali e forti e decisi nella battaglia che oggi qui stiamo conducendo e di cui voi siete un esempio concreto e forte. The only realistic alternative to the Mullah regime in Iran is the NCRA movement under the leadership of Madame Rajavi. Dear friends, freedom is the ability to choose the goodness and the truth. You have this ability. That's why the Romanian parliamentarians are with you today. We will do all in our power in the Irish Parliament. And you must, we, the Irish Parliament, currently holds the presidency of the EU to support the liberty residents and their right to security as well as their return to Ashford. We are very glad to be here. It's an honor for us because we are standing on your side and the human rights and democracy is our common mission. That when the clerical dictators attacked the people's mujahideen at Camp Liberty on June 15, Members of the Australian Parliament from all parties called on the Government of Australia and on the United Nations to double their efforts to fulfil their obligations to provide protection to these democratic activists. We call for the immediate return of the people at liberty to Camp Ashraf. Thank you. I would also, I send regards from Admiral Carr Wright, I send regards from Brigadier General Dave Phillips. They could not be here, they wish they were. To the residents of Ashraf in Liberty, I say we were together in a field of battle. We are together today, we will be together always. And to all of us here, we will always march to victory. March to victory, march to victory. I care about the people of Ashraf, and if you listen to me right now, people in Ashraf and Liberty, we are still here for you. I am still here for you, and I will be there to the end. These past 10 years, they have sacrificed many, many things. But those things will be remembered in the history of a new Iran. And I look forward to the day when we can be reunited reunited in America or reunited in a new Iran. We are here for you. We stand with you. Thank you.